Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Hom 7's Trial by Fire. We're going to go and we're going to do battle with the lava, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, magma guys, I guess is what they're going to be. Are they lava or magma? I don't know. We're going to go and do battle with them either way. I would say that these are the lava, the other magma. All right, so they're the magma. That's why I was like, they're lava, magma. Nobody caught that, all right? Yeah, no, we're good. All right, I don't know how well this is going to work. We're using our magic eye, and we are fire mages, but we're fire mages going against a a uh, immune to fire creature, so that does tend to put a dampening on our ability to do murder. But, well, well, I guess we'll wait and see how this all plays out. Let's get you over here. I, I'm hoping that we can find a spell useful enough to take down the Horned One. So, let's see. Oh yeah, we're also Earth Mage guys, aren't we? Hmm. Poison Spray does quite a decent amount. 496. Stone. Ooh, Stone Spikes does a lot. Alright, let's throw that onto the field of battle here. Which is oh, we're gonna kill thirty of them. All right, I think we can do this then. Boom, wrecked. I, or maybe, maybe it's wrecked. I don't know. Let's wait, wait, wait. Defend. I guess hit him. I think we can do. Yeah, we can do this without actually having to engage with the guy. I'm pretty sure. We're gonna hit him for the eight that he has right there. Almost. We should be able to kill him next time around. I would have to assume. Come hither, fool. Alright, I am gonna go and nuke you again, sir. You are nearly dead, but you're not quite. Oh, but you are. Alright, there it is. Simple and easy. So between my stop. I will take it. And let's come over here and grab up this. Grab up ooh, an arcane staff. That sounds exciting. Let's see, what is that? Plus two, all spells are raised to novice rank, and reduces the mana cost by every activated rune. Eh, it's actually not bad, but I'd rather have this. It's more damage. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna back up with her. I want to be able to transfer the troops as quickly as possible. So, guess we'll sit here. Like, can you make it all the way back to her? Yeah. All right. So let's go do this. Kari can pray to the Arkath, or to Arkath here, but he will lose his remaining movement points. Alright, well... Uh, I suppose I could have gone down there and transferred the troops. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, I guess we end our turn? And it is here that Arkath shall answer our prayer by lighting magma in the belly of the beast and then flowing downhill, it looks like. Cool. And then it's going to do exactly what I said. It's going to go down there and it's going to more than likely melt all that ice, which is going to go to the underground area, which is going... Oh. It apparently spawned some fire giants. And on top of all that, melt all the snow and the ice and turn it into a giant lake. Awesome. So we can traverse our little territory here. Cool. Okay, and there's apparently some present from Arkath. Five to nine giants will join us for free. Cool. So, we have to go over here and get those. Neat. Okay, I will accept that. I guess that's now stronger than our other guys. And you can finally go down... That's cool. And you can finally go down there and drop off this stuff. All right. Trade that. Actually, we won't. We're going to keep that one thing. Everything else we're going to trade. I know. Shocking, to be sure. Did we really give anything up that was ours? I don't think so. I think we just kept what we wanted, and we gave him leftovers, so... Good on him, I guess? I, I don't know. We have summon elementals that we can use at any given time, which is pretty nifty. Pretty nifty, I would say. Alright, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, and... yeah. Stuff. Alright, is there anything that Kari needs to do here? I think he's pretty much done it all, I mean... 
We visited that, visited this. Okay, so we just get to go down and he can go back to his looting ways. Looks like we did finish a treasure trove here. Quest was updated above and under. Reach the northern exit. Okay. Reach Grimheim on the other side of the Vantiri, or Vantiri Mountains. We will get a runic shield and a hammer of fate. Cool. I think we could probably do that. Alright, let's head on down and around and do what we do. And it looks like we will have a ton of cash laying around. Well, we already knew we had a ton of cash laying around. We have a ton of cash that we'll be able to pick up that was laying around. Alright, so how does this work? We go basically over here to the water and then we summon the boat, I guess. Uh, the Vessel of Shalasa. And we do not have enough movement to get on the boat. It's fine. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. It's already applied. Boo. And a ton and a half more resources for us. Just a few more things and we'll be on our way. Um, well, I guess we can board the vessel now. Some various things that are laying around that we can go gather, I suppose. Like, that's the quickest path, huh? But I'm curious, is there anything that we need to fight over here? Ooh, what's that? We can get mermaids and krakens and all sorts of stuff, huh? A secondary army if we needed to. That's interesting. And there is indeed a battle over there. Alright, that's cool. Well, we'll take that fight on. And we will get the treasure loot that we will get. Ooh, looks kind of inconvenient. They have a harpoon on their side. The Amulet of Disguise. That's not really important to me, but eh, whatever. We'll make it work, ladies and gentlemen. We will make it work. Oh, we didn't actually get to position our people. Huh. Neat. Well, burn in a fire. That should help us a little bit here. I'll plop this down here. I guess we can put this maybe over here. Put this like there, and then we can kill you. And it will kill the dragon, theoretically. It did! It did do that. It did that well. Alright, we got Donk Donk Slap coming. Could technically kill that. Probably will. I don't want to be harpooned, so we're going to get rid of it. Put it off the field of battle right now as it stands. And let's see. You're the... You're going to die for sure. You're pretty slow. Probably going to die too. Let's go with you. Bam. Break you down. Break you down. Aw, you're able to move again. Boo, you couldn't do anything. Okay, not too bad. Let's go and take care of you. Very nice. And the end of it all. Fire giant smash! Cool. Yay! Let us rejoice and be glad in it! I feel like my desktop audio is a little bit too loud for this game. Hold on guys, I'm gonna go play with the settings real quick. I try not to do this very often, but I feel like everything's just a little bit too loud. I'll turn down sound effects. Music slightly ambient a little bit. Apply and save. Alright. Hopefully that sounds a little bit better, I'm not drowned out. I noticed in one of the recordings I recently did that I felt like I was, was quite low compared to how I normally am, so... Not super thrilled with that. What is that? Training grounds. Ooh, we can get our guys upgraded. I think that is going to be our first place that we head. All right. Well, we're going to get our last uh, little. Oops. Did not want the gold. That's awkward. We get the last little bit. I was like clicking, and I'm like, no, but it was too late. 
It was simply too late. All right, the vessel of Shalasa. Give me a boat. A boat, a boat, my kingdom for a boat. Well, we have it now. All right, you get to go and do boat things. That's right. So, Bart, I wanted to ask, how does a dwarf, a child of fire, become a sailor and a pirate? Well, it all started with steam, really. I was a smith's apprentice once, but I didn't care about red-hot steel. Steam, that's what fascinated me. I came up with lots of theories. How we could use steam as a source of energy. I started experimenting. See these burn marks here on my face? Aye. Never seen that before. And we dwarves can't be hurt with fire or heat, short of throwing us in a pool of lava. Steam did that. And let me tell you, it bloody hurts. Of course. Before long, word reached our local priesthood, and they weren't too happy. Fire and water mixed together? That's heresy. Now I see why my story amused you earlier. Aye, some things don't change. But while I couldn't change Grimheim and its blasted traditions, I could at least change myself. I left the mountains, boarded a ship, and never looked back. What about you, Carrie? Won't you tell our lovely Lady Vilma how she makes you feel? How do you... I... I, I can't. She's a, a shield maiden, and I'm... <laughs> it's as I said. You cannot change traditions, but you can change yourself. She likes you too, you blind fool. Talk to her before I kick your ass. All right, so there we are. A little matchmaking in Dwarf Land. I, I suppose that's okay. Do I really want to gather up more guys? I suppose. Eh. Like, I feel like we're going to need the money for something, you know? It's one of those, I don't really want to do this. Can we quick combat this? I shouldn't have to fight this. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Upgrade everything. Okay, that's all the money we had. Okay, apparently it was good that we did not spend money. Okay, that was a bit underwhelming, not gonna lie. We're gonna go over here and see if the trivial army can be defeated without a loss. Should be? Good. Yeah, we're we'll fine. Alright. Well, I guess that answers the question as to whether or not we should try and do what I thought we should have tried and not done. That was gathering up those other troops. Quick combat should see the 75 of them fall without a loss as well. Yeah, that's good. Money, 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 money. Hmm. Well, we got something out of that whole ordeal, I suppose. It's the week of the penguin! A good week for marching, if you're an emperor. Which, of course, we all know that I'm not, so... What are you trying to say? You know what? I've changed my mind. I want the gold. Yeah, I do. It's true. It's true. Alright. Well, let's see. Can we quick combat this too? Yep. Cool. More gold. More power. Alright. We should be able to do that. We'll come back for that later. The panther kitties should not be able to do anything to us either. Oh, really? All right, well, we're going to fight them. We're not going to give up so many of our Valkyrie, now that we actually have a Valkyrie. So. It's just simply not going to happen. Oh, good. I'm getting something I requested. Very nice. Very nice. Sorry, guys. I see something pop up on my side. I'm like, ooh, it's this shiny. I requested a thing. The thing has been sent to me, and now I can live my life happily ever after. How much damage? Eh. Eh. Kind of going to wreck you guys, I mean. And if you're as dumb as the rest of the people who get caught in the firewall, I'm not super concerned. You're finding a way out. Yeah, you're just going to wait in the fire. That's also a great idea. Please do that more. Okay, uh, 
Sure, I guess it'll randomly shoot you because of reasons. Give me high morale. No? Yes, maybe? No. What about you? Give me high morale with him? Nope. What about the bear? No. We want the high morale, please! Not with you. You're a loser, man. Maybe this guy will get it. Oh, he did, but he's also too big of a loser. Alright. You. Heh. <laughs> Couldn't even get through it with that. That's kind of a little bit pathetic. Alright, victory is ours. Die. 2,099 damage. I'll take it. Or I suppose technically I'll hand it out. I won't technically take it, mind you. Alright, we shall fight the giant multi-faceted uh, wonderful creature there, the Kraken. And yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, let's take that on. Let's take this on. Let's gather up that and let's head to the shore. Alright, the battle versus the Kraken will commence in three, two. Combat. Nope. Alright, we'll play it manually. Play it manually, or bust. Or just play it manually, we don't really technically have to bust. Alright, I'd rather have you guys like- you know what, actually, no. Oh, I'm screwing everything up, it's fine. It's totally okay, get your bears over there. Yeah, something like that. Alright. Begin combat. Well, since I know you guys love firewalls, they're always very cold underground. I'm just going to throw that out and see if it screws up the AI every single time. Because if it does, it's going to be a little bit sad, but eh. And that's what the butt of a Kraken looks like, for those of you scoring at home. We'll wait. Defend, defend. Defend, defend. And I guess just shoot casually because of reasons? I don't know. Alright, we have the Krakens ready to go and I don't know, just punch this guy in the face I guess. And dead I guess. Toodles. But yes, clearly we lost people last time. That's a thing that should happen. Alright, what are we getting here? We're getting a nice shiny stuff. We got a crystal necklace, which is totally fine. Alright. Well, we can upgrade you. Can I get the fire giants upgraded? You know what? I'm not complaining about that. That's totally okay with me. I am more than happy not to upgrade my fire giants. Alright, what are we looking at here? Trivial fight! I can I can take a trivial fight. Let's do it. Quick combat. Is it gonna show me losses? Yup. It's like, let's see, if we send our Valkyries straight over by themselves without using any spells or abilities, and we don't actually attack with our people, the Valkyries will die. As they should. I, I got nothing. Do you have laser beams? You do not. So you're pretty much useless. Alright, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna punch you with a spell. I don't want to our, our skill. I don't want to get you caught in a firewall where you can't move. Be accused of exploiting, which is exactly what I'm doing, by the way. All right, shield, defend, pew, two this time. Two. Oh wait, maybe two and a half, maybe three. With the high luck on second time, bam, three. What's going on? It's like I'm taking crazy pills. Yep. Yeah. Defend, 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 and murder. And more murder. And even more murder. Yep. Lots and lots and lots of murder. All right, everybody happy. Eh. 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 
Come on, big guy. Come on forward. Let me shoot you with this guy and end you. Goodbye. Underwhelming, to be sure. Alright, what are we looking at? We're looking at... Uh, plus the might. Ooh, we're looking at other things. Hey, there's an enemy hero nearby. The Dark Elves. Keep your voices low. We're not alone. See? Over there? Dark Elves? Even here? They've been expanding across the Vantir range in the last few years, claiming old tunnels and ruins from ages long gone. We have to be very careful from now on. Do we? Or can we be very, very angry and crazy? Because I'm thinking the angry, crazy thing will work too. I think we're going to lose people and... Fine, don't care. Gauntlets of the Minotaur. That is an apt item to pick up from that, I would say. Let's see, what does that do for us? Plus four might versus plus one might. It's part of a set. Let's see if I can remember to switch it back by the end of it. Eh, probably not. Alright, let's go down here. We're about out of time for the episode, I know. It seems like we should probably have another 45 hours of the episode, but we don't. We really don't. It's also a little bit sad that him with just those guys is almost a match of those. You know what? I'm going to try it. This is probably going to be a stupid idea, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to take that fight, and that's where we're going to break out the episode. Look at he's moving around. He's scampering. All right, let's try it, guys. Let's see what we can do with our spells of doom. I think it's going to be okay. All right, you have lots of spiders and other various things out there ready to do murder to me, but it appears that if we do this, that kind of negates a lot of your ability to do pretty much anything else, so that's a thing that happened. Ooh, what was that weird mystical fire thing? You guys see that? That was crazy. Oh, wait. Let's see here. Let's uh, drop it on you. Let's see, we have other spells we can use. We have Fire Bolt, we have Fire Ball. I'm sure we have other fire things. We have Fire Wall. Eh, eh. How much does this regen? Ooh, oh man, that's impressive. Okay. Let's see if we can't just annihilate you straight up. No, we cannot. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's skip your turn. Let's nuke with you. Huh, not quite enough. Now we can kill you with that. We'll buff you with this, and then you're going to waddle on closer, and... Oh, wait, that's right, we get an extra attack with this. I forgot about that. Baby attack, go! Oh, he's burning, cool. Alright, let's go kill him. Dead. All right, so we pretty much annihilated them. Uh, sadly, with like nobody actually doing anything on it, that's just kind of funny. I don't know. To me, it's a little bit humorous. Uh, these fights might be a bit more uh, challenging. Uh, modest fight there, depending on where they're at. I don't want to do that one though. That's too risky. Gather up some more goodies here. And we'll take this fight, and then we're breaking it off, guys and gals. All right, let's see. Quick combat is going to see us with victory. And I'm fine with losing a few of those guys. It's totally okay with me. I know, I'm a horrible person. I'm aware. All right, ladies and gentlemen. In the next episode, we will battle those guys. Those guys, we're pretty much going to clear this whole area out, and then we're going to continue on. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with more Hom 7's Trial by Fire. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>